today's adventure starts at the meadow. Giants in the meadow. <laughs> <laughs> Who can jump the highest? Me, me, me! I can jump higher. That's cheating! That's not jumping, that's flying! Jumping is all about using your legs, like this. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing in the meadow. I hope it never changes. The meadow won't change. It's been here forever and always will be. What's that noise? Giants are coming! Quick, let's hide! It's only Lucy. The little girl we met at the farm. And her dad's with her. It's so pretty here. Yes, Dad. It's a shame we've got to dig it all up. Dig it all up? Why? To make room for the cows. Cows? In the meadow? They're ginormous. The cows can graze in this meadow. Oh. We just need to flatten these molehills. That's not a molehill. That's Gaston's house. <laughs> bow, bow. Bow, bow. Gaston! They're going to flatten your house. Oh! Don't worry, Gaston. You can come and live with me in the little castle. I'll put the cow shed over there. Oh, no! The cow shed will be right on top of my little castle. Don't worry, Holly. You and Gaston can come and stay with me in the great elf tree. And I'll put the cow manure over by those trees. Oh, that's where the elf tree is. What's manure? Cow poo! Oh, maybe I won't stay at the great elf tree. Thanks anyway, Ben. I'd better start building the fence. Psst! Lucy! Lucy! Oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Your dad is putting his cows right where we live. Yes, isn't it terrible? You have to tell him to stop. OK. I'll tell him that elves and fairies live here. No, no! Big people must never know we live here. But I'm a big person and I know you're special. What can we do then? Let's ask the wise old elf. He'll know what to do. He's old. He's wise. And, and he's, he's an, an elf. elf. <laughs> what was that? Shush, we've got to be quiet. OK, let's go and tell the wise old elf about the cows. Cows in the meadow? We'll have to tell the farmer that he can't put his cows here. No, no. We must never talk to big people. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, big people. Nice to see you again. Oh, hello, Lucy. I thought you said we should never talk to big people. Well, that's apart from Lucy, of course. Lucy is nice. But we must never talk to grown-up big people. You can't trust them. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. I'll sort it out. What are you going to do? I'll tell the king to sort it out. Cows? Yes, Your Majesty. The farmer is going to put cows in the meadow. Right where Gaston's house is. Oh, well, that's not so terrible. And he's going to put a load of cow poo by the grey self tree. Again, not so bad. You'll get used to the smell. And he's going to build a cow shed on top of the little castle. What? Who is this farmer? I'll sort him out. How big is he? Is he as tall as me? He's my dad. Yeah, a big person. And her dad is even bigger. Yes, well, Nanny Plum, come up with a plan. I already have a plan, Your Majesty. Oh, well done. I'll turn him into a frog. You'll turn my dad into a frog? Cool. That's your plan? It's like they always say. To get your own way, turn them into a frog. That doesn't even rhyme. It's a silly plan. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And I absolutely forbid you to... As I was saying, to get your own way, turn them into a frog. Oh, well done, Nanny Plum. The plan does work. Carry on. Right you are, Your Majesty. Even think about doing anything so... Oh, where did Nanny go? He's almost finished the fence. Frog time! What? 
problem solved. Frogs can't build fences. Um, will my dad be a frog forever? Oh, no. It'll wear off after a while and he'll be back to his old self again. But won't he just start building the fence again? Oh, I never thought of that. Uh-oh. I think the spell is wearing off. Quick, hide! Huh? Where was I? Oh, yes, I was building a fence. It's been ages. How long does it take to turn someone into a frog? Hmm, maybe I should go and see how Nanny Plum is doing. Good idea. Off you go, then. There's a good elf. So, how is the brilliant plan going? I turned the farmer into a frog. Then he turned back again. And he's still building the fence. No worries. I'll turn him into a frog again. Frog time! No, Nanny. This plan is silly. All right, smarty pants. What's your plan, then? Maybe Lucy's mum can stop the farmer. But you said we can't talk to grown-up big people. We can't, but Lucy can. Yes, I could ask my mum to stop Dad. Come on. The important thing is, Lucy, not to mention elves and fairies. OK, wise old elf. Mummy, Mummy! Hello, Lucy. I thought you were helping Dad today. I was, but... But what? Oh, Mummy, can't Dad put the cows somewhere else? Lucy, whatever has got you so upset? It's just that my friends, the elves and fairies, live there. Oh, no! She's telling her everything. Elves and fairies. How lovely. No, Mum, it's true. Right, leave it to me. There really are elves and fairies. I know there are, darling. Do you? Frog time. Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. Uh, hello. Mummy, how do you know Nanny Plum's name? Because I remember her from when I was a little girl. So you know all about the elves and fairies? Yes. I used to play with them when I was little. Sally! Now I remember you. It was years ago. Yes, there was you and Naughty Prince Thistle. King Thistle now. Nanny Plum, we must never talk to big grown-ups. Oh, hello, wise old elf. Nice to see you again. Oh, hello, Sally. Did you know the wise old elf when he was very young? No. He's always been old. And wise. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Ooh, thank you. So it's the little kingdom where Dad's putting the cows. Yes. yes! Then we must stop him. Come on, everyone. Stop, stop. What? We have to find somewhere else to put the cows. Oh, uh, why? Because, um, because the grass here is a bit... Um, dry and, uh... And the ground is, uh, too muddy. There must be a better place to put the cows. No, this is the perfect place. The plan's not working. Uh, who said that? Now, oh, what do we do? Is it frog time? No, Nanny! What? Frog time! Ah! Don't let the farmer know we're here. OK, Clever Clogs, what's your plan, then? Um, hello? We'll be with you in a moment. Now, Nanny Plum, as I was saying... Um, who are you all? Hello, Mr Farmer. We're elves and fairies. And we live here, in the meadow. Elves and fairies living in the meadow? Yes! So, we can't put the cows here, darling. Well, of course not. I don't want to knock anyone's house down. Hooray! And one more thing, Dad. You must not tell any of your friends that you've seen elves and fairies. Mm, don't worry. There is no way that I will tell any of my friends that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you, Dad. Good news, Your Majesty. There will be no cows in the meadow. So, what's the bad news? The farmer, his wife... And just about everybody now know about elves and fairies. I see. Hopefully they don't know too much. And over here is the little castle where the fairies live. Hello! Ah, uh, hello! Next on the tour, the secret elf tree. See all the secrets the elves have been hiding for years. 
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Mrs. Fig's Magic School. Good morning, Your Majesties. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Princess Holly would like to show you how well she is doing with her magic. Yes, I would. That's lovely, sweetie. She will now cast a spell for you. It's not magic jelly, is it? No, no. Not magic jelly. You can choose. What would you like best in the whole wide world? Could you make me something pretty? OK. Abracadabity-bobbity-boo! Is it? It seems to be a box of burps, Your Majesty. No! Oh, that's disgusting! Sorry, Daddy. I think it's about time Holly had some proper magic lessons. Very good, Your Majesty. I'll just fetch my wand. No, Nanny Plum. I mean proper lessons at a proper school. School? Yes. Holly is old enough to go to Mrs Fig's magic school. Ooh, Mrs Fig's magic school. I went there when I was little. It sounds fun. Can my friends come as well? Of course. Violet, Rosie, Strawberry and Fleur can go to magic school too. Can Ben come along? Oh, remember Ben is an elf and elves don't like magic. Ben will most likely be at elf school today. Good morning, children. Good morning, wise old elf. This morning's lesson is called Why Elves Don't Do Magic. Who can tell me why elves don't do magic? Because we're elves. <laughs> yes, Ben, but can anyone tell me why we don't do magic? Because we're elves. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, but why don't we? Is it because... Magic always leads to trouble. Yes, Jake. Magic always leads to trouble. This way, girls. And talking of trouble... Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're going to magic school. Ooh, can we go to the magic school too, wise old elf? No, I forbid it. Oh, please, wise old elf. Please, please. Oh, very well. Today's lesson will be to see how magic <laughs> always leads to trouble. <laughs> this way to the magic school. Ah, magic school. I suppose it'll all be pink and fluffy and covered in glitter. That sounds nice. Here we are, Mrs Fig's magic school. Oh, what a sensible building. It could have been built by an elf. I know. It's a bit ugly, isn't it? It's very sensible. Now, girls and boys, you'll soon be meeting Mrs Fig. She taught me everything I know. Ooh. Mrs Fig liked me. I used to call her Old Figgy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, children. Morning, morning Old Figgy. Figgy. My name is Mrs Fig. Morning, Mrs Fig. Fig. That's better. Hello, Figgy. Remember me? Ah, Nanny Plum. How could I forget? I told you I was her best pupil. In all my years of teaching, Nanny Plum, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. And I am the wise old elf. Elves? At magic school? Yes, we're here to see the magic all go wrong. Nothing will go wrong at Mrs Fig's magic school. Now, who do we have here? I'm Princess Holly. Princess Holly, what do you and your little friends know about magic? Oh, I've taught them lots of things. Let's say you know nothing. Now, what's the most important rule of magic? Don't do magic. Correct. What? But where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Oh, ho, ho. I like this lesson. Magic is only meant to be used for sensible things by sensible people. Now, pretend you are in the kitchen doing the washing up. Are you going to wash the dirty dishes using magic? Yes. Stop! That's just the sort of thing you can do by hand. What? That's just plain wrong. But 
If you come across a particularly stubborn stain on a saucepan, then perhaps you could use magic. Leave it to soak overnight. Why not just magic the whole lot clean and get on with something fun? I am the teacher, Nene Plum. Sorry, Figgy. And now for the magic lesson. Hooray! First, we have to warm up. Let's start with a little jog. No, not the jogging. Outside, chop, chop. Run around, everyone. What does running have to do with magic? Nothing. It builds character. I don't need any more character, thank you. Are you all having fun? Yes! yes. Right, stop. Jogging is not meant to be fun. <sighs> Now, who would like to show me their favourite spell? Me! Anyone else? I can do a growing spell. Very good. Show us your growing spell, please. OK. Bappity boppity bow. Grow, grow, grow! Ah! Not me! <laughs> She's just growing and growing. Stop it! Stop it! I know how to do growing. But not stopping. That's easy. Stop, Figgy, stop. And who taught you that growing spell? Me. I might have known. Well, it did work. You grew a lot. I know a spell to make things smaller. Wait, don't. Dibbly, gobbly, do. Small, small, small. <laughs> ah! Mrs Fig is still shrinking. Help! Help! She's getting teenier and teenier. She's never going to stop shrinking. Help! Help! Oh, I'd better grow her again. Figgy, figgy, fig. Back too big. How are you feeling? I am very, very, very angry. So, as you see, children, Magic always leads to trouble. They were two very silly spells. Can anyone think of a useful spell? Magic jelly! Magic jelly? Yes, that's very useful. Well, I suppose magic jelly has its uses. Like at a children's party. Or a picnic. Or as a yummy pudding. OK, magic jelly. But let's get someone sensible to wave the wand. Me, me, me! me. I'll do it! Who is the most sensible person here? The wise old elf. The wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, <laughs> It wouldn't be right. Nonsense! We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical! My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry. You won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say, Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. <gasps> oh! oh! It worked! Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha! I'd like to see you try. I say, this is fun. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Wise old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, jelly, jelly. And lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Plum. It wasn't me. It was him. That's ridiculous. Elves don't do magic. Actually, Your Majesty, it was the wise old elf. Even old Figgy telling tales now. It's true. The wise old elf did it. Oh, dear. I believe I did do the spell. Fancy that. The wise old elf doing magic. <laughs> you have been naughty.
Yes, and it just goes to show that magic always leads to trouble. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy's playgroup. Bang! 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 Ah! Daisy! Poppy! Bang! Bang! Daisy! Poppy! Don't do that! Bang! Bang! <laughs> What's all the noise? Mummy, the twins are being naughty. Shouldn't they be at playgroup? There hasn't been any playgroup for weeks now. Really? Why not? The problem was all the toddlers were together in one place. Isn't that the idea of a playgroup? Well, yes. But just think, there was Raspberry. Even her wand is rude. <laughs> and Nettle, she has a stinging nettle in her hat. And Tarquin. Tarquin likes playgroup. <laughs> and Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> All together, they're quite a handful. What happened to their nice teacher, Mrs. Fotheringill? Good morning, children. My name is Mrs. Fotheringill. They made her disappear. Disappear? All they found was her shoes. Now, no one wants to be the teacher, and the nursery is closed. What a lot of fuss about nothing. I know. I'll be the playgroup teacher, and Nanny Plum can be my assistant. Oh, uh, um, I'd like to be, but I'm really very busy. I'll call my friend Mrs Elf, then. She can be my assistant. Hello? Mrs Elf speaking. Hello? It's Queen Thistle. Oh, Your Majesty. I wonder if you'd be interested in a new job. A job? Yes. You'd be working with me. That would be an honour, Queen Thistle. As assistant teacher at the playgroup. Hello? Hello? Oh, the phone must be broken. Still, she sounds very keen. I'll go round and fetch her. Are you sure you want to be the teacher, Mummy? The toddlers can be very naughty. No problem. I'll have Mrs Elf to help me. Hello? Is Mrs Elf there? Uh, sorry, but Mrs Elf had to go away suddenly. She is not here. Oh, hello, Mum. Oh, hello. I just got back. Perfect. Daisy and Poppy are so... Oh, pleased you're going to help at playgroup. <laughs> well, as long as it's just Daisy and Poppy. Oh, no. It will be all their friends as well. Lovely. Oh, it's locked. What a shame. No playgroup. Don't worry, Mrs Elf. I have the key. Lovely. A quick tidy and we'll soon have it ship shape. Oh, look. Mrs Fotheringill's shoes. Where did she go? No one knows. She just... Disappeared. Come along. The toddlers will be here in a minute. We heard playgroups reopening. We didn't quite believe it, though. So what poor person is the new teacher? Ah, uh, me, actually. And I'm the assistant teacher. Tarquin's been really missing, playgroup. Tarquin like playgroup. So is Raspberry. <laughs> and Nettle. <laughs> Come in, children. Oh, she stung me. <laughs> Hello, I'm your new nursery teacher and this is my assistant, Mrs... Oh. She's hiding under the desk. Uh, hello, children. I'm Mrs Elf. Relax, Mrs Elf. There's nothing to worry about with me in charge. Now, children, let's... <laughs> <gasps> they've made the Queen disappear. All they've left is her panties. Children, what have you done with the Queen? Gone. All gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, Queen Thistle. The toddlers have magicked me somewhere. But I'll be back as soon as I've worked out where I am. You'll have to take the class until I get back. Oh, OK. Bye. Mrs Elf, you're the teacher now. Yes. Don't panic, Mrs Elf. You can do this. You're in charge. Uh, maybe we should take away their wands. Good idea, Ben. Right, everyone. We are going to play a game. It's called 
Hide the wands. We'll take the wands and hide them in this drawer. Good. Now let's draw a lovely picture. What shall we draw? Butterflies? Bunny rabbits? Dinosaurs. Tarquin like dinosaurs. Oh, OK. Big teeth. <laughs> Good. Now use your imaginations. Let's all close our eyes and imagine what it would be like in the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? It's keeping them happy and quiet. Imagine the fiery volcanoes and thick jungle and dinosaurs. Pretend you're really there. What was that? I think the school moved. Daisy, Poppy... Did you just do something? It's all right, Holly. They're being very good. And it's nearly home time. How lovely and quiet. Why is it so different today? It's time to pick up the twins. Ah, the twins. That's why it's quiet. Right, Nanny, I'm on my way. Hello, have you come to pick up your toddlers? Yes. yes. Ah, where's the playgroup? It's, it's gone. gone. Wow. Last time, the toddlers just made the teacher disappear. This time, it's the whole school. Home time. Phew. Well done, Mrs Elf. That wasn't too bad. Apart from the Queen disappearing. Oh, yes, the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time, children. Don't run. Oh, my goodness. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent us? Dinosaur, dinosaur. Oh, no! They've sent us back in time! To the land of the dinosaurs! How are we going to get home again? Let's not panic. There's an answer to everything. OK, we're stuck in the land of the dinosaurs. 65 million years in the past. So, what's the answer? I'm thinking. I have an idea. I might be able to magic the school back. It's worth a try. Abracadabra! The main thing is not to panic. Ah! The school's gone. Shall we start panicking now, Mum? Yes. It's the school. Hooray! Welcome back, everybody. Oh, there's no one here. Trapped in the land of the dinosaurs with no way back. Don't worry, there must be an answer. Think, Mrs Elf, think. What's that? Is it a dinosaur? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a cave woman. <laughs> shoes, shoes. Wait a minute. It's Mrs. Fotheringill, the lost teacher. I've been stuck here for ages. Thank goodness you finally come to rescue me. Well, we sort of need rescuing ourselves, actually. Oh. If only Mummy was here. Yes. The Queen could magic us home. But the Queen is here. I saw her this morning. Hooray! But she was carried off by one of those pterodactyle things. <coughs> leaving just her wand and her cell phone. Mrs Fotheringill, do you know where the pterodactyls live? They live on Scary Mountain. I could take you there if you want. All right. Come on, children. Hold hands. Stay together. Mrs Fotheringill, why is it called Scary Mountain? Oh, I see. <coughs> Look, the Queen! Hello, everyone. Mummy, are you all right? Yes, but I'm trapped. It won't lift up its foot. <coughs> I'll climb up and tickle the pterodactyl. Elves are good at tickling pterodactyls, and I'm an elf. <coughs> Careful, Ben. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> Hooray! Here's your wand, Mummy. Thank you, everyone. Now, I think we all better get back home. Hooray! We're back. My shoes! And my panties! Oh, hello! Hello, everyone. I was getting a tiny bit worried. I think it's all gone very well for the first day. And the good news is we've found Mrs Fotheringill. Hello! Well,
Welcome back, Mrs. Fotheringill. I expect you'd like a little rest. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. You'll need to get your strength back before you start teaching the playgroup again. Oh. Mrs. Fotheringill! <laughs> 